Hi and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to talk about how to track student progress over time using a Google Sheet. Now a question came in this week to the Techie Coach blog about how to set up a sheet so that a coach could track players attendance but also uh, track their progress in running the mile after practice each week. And so I'm going to take a few minutes here to show you a couple of different things. We're going to show you the, um, how to track that in a chart such as this one and how to show their progress over time. But we'll also show you a way that you can set up an attendance sheet for the same group of people. So right here, I've already pre-formatted this sheet a little bit. Uh, just a couple of things to point out. Um, I did merge these cells across the top. So anytime you want to merge a group of cells, you just highlight them and go to the format menu, go to merge cells and merge all. Uh, so that's how this title bar right here for this chart was merged together. Um, also filled in the cells on the student line and the week line uh, by using just clicking on the cell and then using the paint can to choose a color. So that'll kind of make things a little bit easier to see and read and look at. But uh, for the most part, this is set up so that over a six week period for each of these students we can track how long it's taking them to run the mile. And a quick way to see just a, a visual of their progress over time is to add a spark line at the end of the chart. Now this is similar to inserting a chart on the sheet, but in this case it is just like a little mini progress chart showing the progress of these times over the six weeks. So to do that all you have to do is type equals spark line and it shows up miniature chart. So you just click. And now it's asking what data we want a spark line for. So all I have to do is highlight these cells and click enter and I've got a spark line. Now in the case of this student's progress, we do want that spark line to go down because that means that their running time is getting shorter and that's a good thing. And if you want to apply that same thing to these other cells without having to type that over and over again, you can just right click on this cell, copy, and then paste onto these other cells and it'll show a spark line for their respective rows of data. And so now we've got a quick visual here. We can see exactly how these students are doing. Uh, we can change that spark line to a different color if we want to just by highlighting the cells and clicking on the text color. And we can also do that in other ways too. So for instance, let's take a look at this other sheet. Uh, this is for student progress reading time, how many words they can read per minute. So. This is a little first grade chart and over the six weeks we've tracked how these students are reading and again all we do is on that far column we click in the cell to the right of the data type equals spark line click to select and then it asks for our data so we want this data here so i'll click drag highlight and then hit enter on my keyboard and we have our spark line and again, we want to copy that same formatting down on these cells. Uh, earlier I showed you that you could right click and copy and then paste it here. You can also grab this little handle right here on the corner of the cell and drag it down and it will apply that formatting to these cells when you let go of the mouse. And so there you can see we've got a nice little progress showing that these students are increasing their reading times and we can also see really quickly visually that this student had a little bit of a dip in their reading progress at some point, but they've recovered from that. So that's a quick way to track student progress. Now let's take a quick look at how to track their attendance. So for instance, um, this same group of students, we can highlight their names, right click and copy, and we can move down to this section, right click and paste that data here. And then we could put attendance, across the top of here. We'll merge these cells together by going to format, merge cells and merge all. And we'll say attendance and we'll go ahead and center that and bold it and then we're going to put um, uh, maybe we'll start today so 921 and then 922, 923 and so on. And again um, if you highlight these three cells and then click and drag this over, it will continue with the progression of dates just by formatting it from the one, two, three standpoint. And then we'll highlight and we'll put a border around these cells. And so what we want to know is 
did this student attend this week? So for this, we're gonna use what's called data validation. So I'll go down to the data menu and choose validation. And on the criteria, we're gonna choose a list of items. So anytime you use data validation, what it's doing is it's applying some kind of rule to a cell. In this case, that is sheet one, which is the one we're on, and cell B11, which is this one right here. And we're going to tell it to use the criteria P for present, A for absent, T for tardy. We'll save that. And what it does is it adds a drop down menu to that cell so that we can mark attendance for that student to practice. If we want to apply that same formatting to the rest of this row, we can just click and drag on that handle and it will apply it to the other cells. Or we could have just right clicked, copied, and then highlighted the grid and hit paste. And so now all of these cells have a drop down menu where we can mark attendance. So if Joe was present, but George was absent, and so was Ray, and of course these two were tardy, we can mark that. Now, if you want a visual so that you can see by color if they were present or tardy, then we can highlight the grid and go to format and conditional formatting. And with this, uh, we can tell it to apply a certain color to a cell based on a rule. So in this case, format cells if text contains P, we'll leave it green and hit done. We'll add a new rule and cell contains A, then we'll use red and hit done. And then finally we'll do text contains T and we'll apply a yellow color to that and hit done. So now you can see as we mark a child present, absent, or tardy, it will color code it so we can see quickly across the board if they've had a lot of absences or a lot of tardies to practice. Well, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to track student progress and attendance, especially if you're working as a club sponsor or a coach and you don't have a quick, easy way to track attendance in your student information system. Well, if you have questions at any time, please visit my blog at www.techiecoach.com and we'll see you next time.